What's up everybody, welcome to the life of a board gamer, my name is Daniel and today we are going to do something that we didn't do in a long long time and today we are going to play some digital board games. So as you already know from the title we are playing all three uh, Ganshon, Clever, Doppel, So Clever and uh, the Hoge Drive. I don't know the names right now because they I, I have some versions that are German, some French, some English, so I'm all confused, but we are going to play all three of them as you see in the title and uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I think about them, uh, how, much, how much do I like them and stuff like that. So the thing is these are uh, playable only solo, so I will be playing solo games of uh, all of these three uh, versions and i will explain you how the each one works at least i will try to because i don't know how to explain some of these i just know how they work and uh yeah uh that is basically that let's start so uh, we are going to play e uh, two games of each because uh probably on a first or, or on a second try i'm going to fail miserably so i want to still have at least one good game and this game go fairly quickly it's just six turns even when you're playing solo they go super super fast and uh, yeah also i have my coffee with me because i still haven't had my coffee intakes today so uh apologize i apologize if i'm going to be slurping a little bit maybe oh it's a good coffee i made myself a good coffee okay so we are going to play six games in total two of each and then i'm going to tell you a little bit about it what i like and what i dislike if i dislike anything about them i also do have a, a physical version of the games but uh, i don't play them that much mostly solo when i have time i just throw a game or two but i like to play online it's much easier there's no really setup you just open it up and you are ready to go so uh, also, uh, for anyone interested in playing these online solo, I will leave you a link in the description down below. And uh, to thank me, you just leave me a like down below. So yeah, uh, first one we are going to play is, uh, of course, uh, Ganshon Clever. And uh, the thing is, uh, you probably know how the game plays. I won't go like super into the rules. Like this is not a tutorial how to play the game, but basically you throw dice, you pick one that you wanna uh, uh, that you wanna cross off in some of these areas, and uh, then you have to roll other dice again. If you pick a higher dice, all the lower dice are discarded for the other players to use, and you have some bonuses once you fill the row and in the column and uh, diagonally, all kinds of different things. You wanna really go for these foxes; they can bring you a lot of points but uh, yeah uh, so this first one first one is basically as you can see you have areas that are colored so you will have dice in the same colors and you will also have a white die that is a joker die uh, that dice can be used for any of these colors if you can so basically uh, in a yellow area if you get a yellow three you will just cross off the yellow three and you are trying to fill all the rows and all the columns and in the rows you get some bonuses, some extra stuff to cross off and on the columns you get some points, so you earn points that way. Plus one means that you get uh, to uh, cross off another thing, use another die on your turn. Uh, blue is always matched with the white and then the sum of them two, you will cross off that number. So if, if, if it blue is five, yellow, uh, white is three, you will cross off eight. Uh, basically the, the game automatically tells you what you can do with your dice so it's super easy you'll see on the green part you just need to cross so you can i mean you have some uh, things that you must uh, obligate to and that is uh, obligate to right expensive words so what you have to do is uh, over here in the first square you need to if the green is one or higher that's good and then it's two or higher, three or higher, four or higher. So for example, if I crossed off all these and I get a green two, I can't cross off the four because two is lower than four, of course. But if I have four, five or six, I can cross it off. Once you hit the five, it resets to one and then goes up to six. In an orange, you just write the number that it is. If you get six, you write six. If you get one, you write one. Purple is almost the same as an orange, but on the purple side, 
uh, you start with the number and then the next one has to be higher than the, than the first one. The six will uh, uh, reset the counting. So if I put one, then I need to put two, three, four, five or six. Let's say, for example, I put a four and then I put a six. Then again, I can put one or or again, go with a six or with a five. But if I put five, next has to be the six. So that's how it goes. It plays for six rounds in solo and you get some bonuses throughout the game, some extra rerolls, some extra uh, crossing offs. And that's what you do. Basically, you just press this to roll your dice and you decide what you want to do. Uh, so, for example, if I pick this white two, these two dice will be automatically discarded and I won't be able to use them. And so far, I see no problem with that. So I'm just going to cross off this six and then I'm going to use this three to cross off this one. And uh, I am going to use this yellow to cross off this yellow. I have some ideas how to score the best points, but uh, if you know better strategy, do tell me in the comments below. Basically, what I'm trying to do is fill all the blues except the nine, possibly five, but I like it because it, if I complete this row I get a yellow to cross off on the yellow part I just tend to cover up the first row the last row and the diagonal so on a green I try to push as much as I can usually I come around here on orange also somewhere around here and purple I like to push as much as I can with as big a number as I can because as you can see when once you hit these each number gives you something, gives you so, some nice ability or something. So that's really nice. Okay, so now I uh, locked in my three dice. Now I just press next. That uh, simulates the other player turn. And then he offers me this to cross off. And these are really not good numbers. So I really don't want to cross off this nine. So I'm going to sacrifice some points. Putting one over here, which is absolutely terrible and now I have a plus one you'll see in a second how it works and oh I got some really big numbers I should make a use of that see 12 is really hard to get and still have a lots of dice to use so I'm just gonna put a blue 12 over here as you can see the lower number than six were discarded so you have to be very careful about those stuff and uh, Let's see, let's put it, let's cross off the green one and then I will use, okay, the six is always the best possible thing to use and you, I can see, I can press here plus one and then I can use some other die, dice if I want to and I will not for now, I will save it for other turns, maybe I get some better stuff from the computer player, like for example this six that can be punched in anywhere so I'm gonna start pushing the purple row a little bit I also got now one free re-roll if I need it and I'm gonna use this three over here looks pretty nice okay so blue I need to invest some in blue and um, yeah let's re-roll see what we get okay another six I definitely want to push this as a six as much as I can so a four four definitely i like this four and then should i use five no i think i have a better idea right now so we're just gonna go okay so with this ability with this uh four round fourth round i can cross off any or uh, write a six if i want to so what I will cross off is this. I always uh, tend to cross off 12, 11, 10 on the blue side because those are hard to get because you need two dice with big numbers, which means that possibly you will have to discard lots of small numbers, dice and everything. And you really don't want to do that. So I'm just going to cross off this one. And uh, you know what? I guess this is not happening, but we need to start pushing this purple row a little bit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna reroll. I don't like what I get. I still didn't don't like what I just got. And that's most unfortunate. Let's reroll one more time. Okay, this looks way, way better. So I can cross off a five, which 
would be a good thing to do yes let's do this and one and a two and you might be saw that uh, this game shows you in advance what it will roll so yeah but this is this is terrible roll the, and i don't have any re-rolls and i really don't need to cross this off so i guess the orange one is going to cost me a lot of points but we are going to try and see if we can make it okay so what we have here mm, let's cross up this one and i will use this six so now i have a free blue to cross off and i could cross number 10 let's do it like that okay one more turn to go this and one more turn and we are done as you can see this pretty this is pretty fast game it goes super fast okay let's do this even though i'm not a fan of what i'm doing right now i'm gonna use this six and i over here i get a five and i could put an eight which will give me a plus one more to write in but oh i wish i could use this one but five is not good because that means i need to have a six for the next one where will i put this five let's put it here and then use this one over here and then we can cross off the number three we get a six which gives us a yellow and we cross off the yellow which gives us the blue and plus one and then we cross off this one which gives us orange five and the green to cross off and we and he did, did all this automatically for us which is absolutely awesome and i will use this five to write it here because this as you can see this square is times two which means i will get 10 points not five that's why i decided to do this because i knew that i will probably get a big enough number to write it here so let's cover this one up and i don't need to use any more yellows because once i fill these two i hopefully fill these two numbers i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to do it i will get to cross off the yellow one now we have to combine stuff and see what can we do and if the dice will see the dice are giving us what we need right now and i'm going to cross off this number three and check this out number two that's five which means we can cross off this one which we get a fox fox is great because fox can each fox that you manage to cross off will give you as many points as your lower stat in any of the colors if you have the lowest the lowest stat in the yellow the lowest number of points uh, it will multiply it by the foxes or usually it's the purple or orange so and all of these two dice we can't do anything with them we need some better dice come on come on yes yes thank you so much and now i am going to man this was a bad game i don't think i will score well in this one so i pushed the green too much that's that's as i can see right now is the problem but we'll have to see okay so if i cross off this one it will give me a plus one more to cross off so i have one i have two i have three foxes which is okay and the next best thing i can do so reroll does nothing for me because there is no more turns to play so basically the best thing i can do is put this over here i could now count the points see if it's better to use it here or here but i'm not going to do that because this video is not meant to last that long 281 point somewhat fairly balanced points throughout the areas which is really cool but uh, let's see if we can do better 281 so we are going to refresh and see if we can do better than 281 okay we're going to start off with the number seven and the number five is just too good to pass because this one i don't care what it is because i can write it even if it's one so number 
tool. Let's cross it off here. The second will always be much faster game because now you saw how the game goes and this is just now trying to be beat the previous score. That's how I imagine this video. Just play the game and see if you can beat the score. And uh, if I can, awesome. If I can't, not so awesome. But still, I have fun and you can watch some nice content. The others one are quite more complicated than the basic one. So be prepared that you will have to learn some stuff watching that. Okay, let's cross off the eight. I have no better idea right now. this is I really don't know what to do throw the dice and see what happens okay oh 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 I most definitely want this I want to start pushing the purple but purple I constantly get like one or two and that's really not what I'm after I want big numbers on purple but if I put five that's not good that's really not good I should not do that I'm just gonna cross off this four and hope for the best okay we're going to cross off 12 as I already mentioned I always do that if I didn't get it because it's really hard to get a 12 on a on a blue and because there's are like two big numbers that you need to cover and okay come on three really i don't want to do that come on give me a six yes okay so we get a six and then i'm going to use plus one to write another six because this purple i was really neglecting it so we need to make it work okay next turn next turn we can do a six but i still have two blue three blues that i need to cross off that i will for sure use so if i do this one two three then i don't need to. okay i was just thinking in advance you'll see uh, what, what i was uh, doing right now is i'm i just i need to cross off three more blue spaces and one bonus i will get here one i will get here and one i will get here at least i hope so so that's what i was counting so i don't overspend on one of the colors that happens from time to time you forget about it and you just go heavily invest in some stuff and then you kind of regret it later so we can do this which will give us this and then we can cross off the six and uh, i will cross off this one over here and see now i don't like these numbers i don't like what i get one is absolutely not an option let's re-roll and see what we get so yeah, this one I can't write, this one I don't need, so one will have to be an option, <laughs> even though I said one is not an option. Well, it suddenly became an option. Okay, so I'm just going to put this one over here and I'm going to say next and see what the computer will offer for me. And this is just not okay, not okay at all. So he's forcing me to put the stuff down the first game was way better than the second one so i'm gonna write this three because i'm gonna cross off this one which will give me a plus one which then i can use to put a number two over here which will give me to cross off some of these and I will cross off three or one. I will cross off one just because I need this plus one bonus more than I need the row, the fox, at least at this stage of the game, even though we are really very close to the end. What else can we do? Nothing. Okay, let's see. So I get a five. I get a five that I can cross off here, but then I eliminate my green, which is not good. And uh, since I don't have any more yellows to cross, I guess I will have to punch this one in. But then again, I discard my green. Okay, so I need to reroll. I need a 
higher green number or or something okay this is this is most unfortunate i don't think i'm going to do well in the second one 281 looks like a dream not coming true not coming through not true not coming through but i'm gonna try like this and then we are going to put this three over here and i have plus one that will give me a chance to cross off green let's now i need to gamble and i will cross off this one so i can get this five out of the way and hope that the computer left the green or white for me that i can cross off this one then this one then again another green see how the combo goes yes it is nice so what happens is i put this one then i can cross off number 10 which means i can cross off another fox automatically with this bonus and i am done so my score was 281 and now it's 262 as i said a little bit lower than than the first one so yeah that's most unfortunate but what can you do okay so this was the gun shown clever and now we are going to play doppelt so clever or the second iteration of uh, this game let me just check if it's filming it's filming okay so i'm already at 20 minutes mark so we need to get things going faster so over here as you can see uh, things are way way different you have some bonuses down here below me you have uh, now you have this uh, silver field and uh, what the silver does is basically the, the, the if you use that dice it will write all the numbers that are in front of that dice that are lower if they're the same it will not go over here so you need to get as bigger silver as you can and then you write as many numbers as you can over here yellow one basically you just cross off the fields uh, to get bonuses but you only get points if you cross them off second time and uh, blue just tells you that uh, you take the blue and white again but it goes from the higher to lower so if you first put a two uh, two or three you are probably locked for the rest of the game the green one basically this one uh, this uh, number you put in here minus number you put in here and that's your score for each of them and you, of course you get bonuses and on a purple you can write any number you want but when you come to these areas with numbers these uh, fields that have numbers on them if you put two or higher you will also get this bonus otherwise you will not get the bonus and that's that uh, you can uh, some dice that you locked for other players you can bring back with this function and you just have plus one and rolling of the dice is this over here so that is that and uh, that's how uh, this one goes so we are going to start very poorly as i can see and just put the one over here and we re-roll see first number of green i need really big number because this minus this so first green has to be big then the second one needs to be low and the blues are kind of blue and yellow white are also low and i'll just re-roll one more time this is all still low numbers but i will use I will use this six over here because whatever number this is i'm gonna do something with it and i tend to cover six three four three four five i find it that those bonuses work best for me yeah i should have put it on six not on four no i couldn't it's four so yeah nothing i said nothing okay so number one on a green that that i can get from my rolls because it will be a low number so i'm going to use this five you always use the bigger dice if you can and he's really pushing me with a low number on a blue and i really don't want to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this three and uh, the silver one you just decide which three it is which color and then he as you can see he wrote in the blue two and the white is joker so vile so i can do whatever color i want let's say green because now it doesn't really matter to me that much a green number three would be good but not so good 
but the five I do need and then if I get this number lower it's still okay so I'm just gonna put this five over here and cross it off to get some points that way ah come on now uh, this game is really messing me up man okay so I'm gonna use this three to get a plus one so I can get a six over here and I get a reroll which I suspect I'm going to be using and now I get one of these to return some dice which I will be definitely using but first I need to reroll stuff see he's really pushing my buttons like really really pushing my buttons this is insane this is I don't want to start with seven and I don't need two for any of this so all of these three dice at the start I really don't need so okay this is a bad move but I really have no other options than to play this but this is absolutely a bad this was an absolutely bad move just so you know okay so I need to cross off another one and I will cross off a six which will give me 12 over here as a bonus because it gives you the biggest number it can and then I will use 11 to put this in here and then I will use this six to get this one and to pick up this bonus and the pink bonus and this bonus yeah all the bonuses okay and I will use this one on a green because I neglected the green a little bit okay I can cross off anything I want anything in the world and I will most definitely cross off the green one see if I now put the silver five all these five all of these four fives would not be wrote in here just three and one and basically yellow three is already crossed off and the blue one is already crossed off so this is the worst case scenario for me this is the second worst case scenario for me because he's really messing me up and I hate it I hate it so much okay let's do it like so so this first one is definitely going to be a bad one I could have played it a little bit better but uh, I will have to see if the second one will be better so plus one on this one over here and I will also use it again to get 18 points and four of the dice will come back stuff like that and the yellow one I don't need should we go with a six because after that only six or lower numbers are vi valuable to us <laughs> let's do it like so okay these are some these are some bad bad ideas by me but now I get this five and I will cross off the yellow one and then I get to cross off all kinds of different colors and I get all kinds of different bonuses and uh, now all these dice are locked basically I'm locked out of the game right but no now I can use this one to return some of my dice back and I'm just gonna return two of them and see if I can work with those let's see see I need a six on a, on a purple one because I need to activate this ability but the five over here also can't activate this ability and five over here doesn't fit me okay and I don't have any rerolls oh my god this is I never played a game of Ganshon clever so bad I always get all of these bonuses whatever and now I'm just throwing random stuff so I'm just gonna cross off this five and then I'm just gonna bring back the green one and hope for the smaller number yeah of course I get a five Jesus I mean this is terrible terrible decisions on my part on my end very terrible decisions and I will use this one and then I will cross off a four so I get a bonus reroll which I obviously need a lot more than I have and we are in the last round so 
I'm going to take this purple just because it gives me this purple and it gives me yellow, which means I can cross off this one. Oh boy. Yeah, I hoped for some better stuff, but um, unfortunately, I guess that's not the case this time around. But uh, let's see what can we come up with okay so I can get this one to eliminate this bad stat a little bit and I can get a 4 over here if I what why it doesn't give me if I click it he doesn't want to give me a 4 but he can give yeah this is weird why it's not giving me that oh but now if I get this one I will get a plus one bonus because I collected all of the silver bonuses so that's a good thing at least I think it's a good thing we'll see I think it's like it works like that so yeah uh, this one the, the row is worth uh, how many of X's you have so I'm just gonna cross off random number six but why didn't give me Oh, I didn't get this one. No, why did he? Yeah, this is weird. I kind of, I think I. No, this is if I collect all plus one, then I would get one uh, silver for free. Jeez, I'm sorry. I completely messed up this one. And I think that's that. That's that. Two hundred and forty-four points. And now let's try and uh, see if we can do better than two forty-four. Usually I can. So let's play a speed round and something's wrong. Hmm, the game is not starting. What's going on? Let's try and refresh it. Play. Yeah, it's here. We are back. Let me just see if I'm filming. Yes, I am because I only have one monitor. I can't watch out for stuff like that. Okay, so now we are going to do a quick game of uh, Doppelt, so clever. And we are going to try and do our best. Ooh, a six and a five, yeah, that's tempting, but this 10 is also more tempting. And then this one over here. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, let's see, round number two. I get all the stuff that I don't need, but if I reroll, I will probably get some more stuff. Yeah, I need to reroll. My God, check out all these ones. And we really don't need all this. Okay, I will just use this one. Because that would harm me the less, the least. Oh my God, this, this is unbelievable. This game is really trying to, to like, mess up with me I don't need a two I need a three a four a five or a six for example that's good the number okay so we have a 12 and uh, what else can we do with the extra nothing so far let's see what computer has for us okay so three I will take it gladly and I will take this plus one and I would also take this five easy and this six, no problem at all. And we get to return one back if we want to. And actually I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend it. And then I'm going to return the wild one and reroll everything and see what I get. See, I need a three, not a two. So, yeah, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Put a two over here, then blue over there. And then we see what we get from these two dice. And definitely this one. Okay, now we are doing something. I forgot what was my score, two. 84 what was it I completely forgot what what it, what was it it really doesn't matter we're going to try and do our best so I can go down to six over here I mean I can do that but it would be a suicide and uh, 
three i can i need this plus one this would be a waste to play so yeah i'm gonna risk it i'm gonna go and put six over here that means that i can only put six or lower numbers down here so we'll have to see if i can pull this off it's going to be a miracle if i manage to pull this off okay i have a something to cross off and i could potentially cross off five which will give me over one over here yeah let's do it like that we're not going to think about it too much we're just gonna act on it yeah come on this is terrible rolls terrible rolls all the way see i don't need any of these any any neither of these numbers I'm just gonna spend the, the silver one no the white one I'm just gonna spend it somewhere so I'm just gonna cross off something over here hope for the best yeah the best did not showed up this is insane how bad I am right now at this game it is beyond me how bad it goes Come on, give me some good number. Some good number, please. Six. Okay, I can work with six. Jeez. I am stoked how, how bad this game is going for me right now. Okay, next turn. Let's see what we have. Oh my god, my eye is twitching. I guess I'm nervous. Oh, come on. I really need a break. <laughs> He's really, really pushing me now. Come on, give me a big, see, this silver dice needs to be all the way over here on the right side and I just can't get it over there, no matter what I do. Look how terrible this gray column is. I, I think I most definitely did not manage to, to make stuff work this round. Come on, seriously? I'm gonna use this bone I'm gonna lose this bonus so I don't get a yellow cross bonus terrible terrible game Let's see this is so terrible it is beyond believe how terrible this I uh, usually I would just hit a uh, refresh and reset the game but I want to play it to the full, just so you can see how bad luck I am right now. Come on, give me something good. Give me silver on a... Yeah. This is not working at all for me. Not working at all. Yeah, now I get all the sixes in the world when I really have no use for them. Now I get them. Yeah, thank you so much. Whoop de do. Come on, what can we do with these dice? Okay, so I'm just gonna push these as much as I can. Oh, I have to cross off something. Let's cross off another six. Who cares? And uh, this six over here. <laughs> I really don't want to put in here, but I have no other things to cross up okay let's just see what the computer has for me and then we'll figure things out a two a one and this one that i can't write in because it's five and i need four or less jesus this was a bad game my god this was a bad game so yeah yeah i'm ashamed i'm ashamed i'm thoroughly ashamed how bad i was at this second one 191 point this is miserable miserable points uh okay so yeah that was that that was doppelt so clever and uh 40 39 40 minutes in uh we are going to play clever hoch dry or however it is called in english i should really learn english names for this one for these games so basically how this one plays is the, uh, as you can see now we have the like a teal uh, color space area and the brown one there's no more green and orange so in the yellow area in the first roll you can only write uh, white is again a, a wild and uh, in the first roll you can write in the first row 
in the second row you can write in the second row and the third row uh, over here uh, when you put a blue uh, any number let's say if you have a blue two this teal number two all the twos that are on the platter or over here will also get written in here and over here you just go from seven and then go minus one minus one minus one seven of course resets the count and on the right side you go plus one so you go plus one plus one plus one so it's seven eight nine ten and so on and if you manage to hit these lower or bigger numbers you will get some extra points uh, on a brown one you get bonuses if you cross off the first and the second one the thing is once uh, let's say for example that first number i cross off is a three automatically i can go for one and a five i must go on the right and it will count the longest row un, un, uh, unbroken row of uh, crossed off numbers that will be how many points will i get and in the purple one whatever you uh, number you write in here here you write half of it and if you write it down here you will get bonus if you write up here you will get times one times two or even times three on this fox and that's how that works and of course now the bonuses are a little bit different you have a re-roll again you have a plus one but now you can change the value of dice they can be three four five six or three jokers if you manage to collect them all and uh, yeah let's uh, roll and see how it goes so for example if i would now put a two since there is no other two uh, already selected by me i would only get that one two so it would be a bad bad move but uh, seven is always good over here let's see what else what do we get i really want a five start with five i have some ideas how things work for me and stuff like that uh, roll and I get nothing good if I might might add. So I'm just gonna put it here. Okay, the next one, three, this is five, which is really nothing to write home about. And I will just put that two. I could start with one brown, but I really wanna skip it. I don't need this, but I need yeah okay let's start with it. let's start with it, see how it goes i usually go for a little bit of different strategy regarding brown but for now let's try and see what will happen so we have a six over here and then we roll again and i will most definitely put a five in here now i have unlocked see now i already have two of these uh, which means I can change the value of the die. I can pick this one and click over here and say that it's three or four if I want to But I really don't want to do that and I will pick this three and I will uh, Now see I have one three over here and this is the second three so now I can choose how many threes I mean I can uh, cross off two number threes I want to choose which if I choose in this uh, dark, darker, this uh, blue area, not this white one, then these bonuses will activate once I fill just these blue areas. The white ones are just for extra scoring. The blue areas are so you can get these bonuses. So I'm just gonna fill these two number threes over here. And then I'm gonna use this three because I find it particularly interesting. And I don't need reroll. I'm gonna take some extra points, but other stuff I definitely need. So let's reset the, the count. I really don't care much about that. I'm just gonna put this five over here in the middle. Okay, so what we have here is unacceptable. We need brown four. So I'm gonna put it on a four and uh, this two will be this one and then this one because i have two number twos so i can cross off two and uh, six i will put over here let's do it like that and then i hit next oh i get oh my god this would be pretty nice to put over here i can complete this row get some bonus and with that bonus i can pick some extra stuff oh i can do some nice things right now if i play wisely 
So I'm going to do this. Yeah, oh, I don't have plus one. I thought I have plus one. Oh my God. I wanted to take this five, then cross off these two fives, get another blue bonus. Yeah, I missed on that. But I get to cross off anything I want, like anything I want. And what I want to cross off is the number three, so I can cross off the one yellow, and this yellow will give me another yellow one, and then I will get this teal one that I occasionally call blue, and this one will give me another teal, and this one will give me a brown one, and then I will cross off the brown one, and I get a reroll. And that was a great combo. <laughs> yeah, but brown, I now need a six brown. And this is not going to be good. Okay, let's reroll. We can reroll. I mean, I could always use a Joker, right? So I could use that. I did not think about it. Yeah, let's go for the six. We'll see how the things go. Yeah. Let's reroll. Let's see what we get on a reroll. I get nothing actually <laughs> some stuff that I really don't like let's put it like this and then I can cross off this one which will give me to cross off this one which will give me a plus one that I thought I already have but I didn't and I am going to spend this three to write it right over here and to get another plus one oh yeah now we are talking so now i will use this five to cover all of these and start working on the right side and then i'm going to take this five and i'm going to turn it into six and i'm gonna just write it over here and i'm gonna put it on this one six space because it gives me reroll and uh, now I don't know what to do with these dice. So I could potentially no I can't. Those are not free. Yeah, this is the best way to go. Okay, roll and write. What else can we do right now? Digis, this was a terrible roll. Lots of things that I definitely didn't need. And the yellow one is really not giving me, I need a three or four, but I, if I take it, I will lose all of these and I kind of don't want to do that right now. Come on, man. He's really going against me on this one. Okay. So we are just going to, this is a terrible pink row. I definitely need to work on that. Definitely need to work on that. So I'm gonna cross off this tree and then I will get a brown which will give me this one. And I roll again. Brown number two. I don't need, but I could use this five over here. No, I could use a blue five. That would be way better because this is a joker one. I could use it maybe for something else. Damn it, Daniel. Be more careful about those things. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to play this one over here and then I'm going to take this five. Do I want to take this five? What do I need it for? Oh, if I could. Oh, I can. I can. I can turn it into two and then I can use it to fill completely this row, which will give me a pink one. And I need a reroll. Usually I don't take rerolls, but this one. This time I'm doing pretty bad, so I wanna. <sighs> My God, this is almost the end of the game, and I still haven't done a lot of things I need to do. So let's put this four over here, and uh, let's roll. Okay, okay. So. Let's take this one and then we can cross off the blue one, which will give us the fox. 
and now we need to work on the pink one we definitely i usually just push the pink one the furthest because there's, there's some great bonuses at the end but for some strange reason i completely forgot doing that and i am not sure why did i do that so if i change this into five because that's the best thing i can do right now i can get this and uh, let's see if i get some come on mother fortune give me some good numbers God. yeah this was not a good play uh, and i say that for all three games which uh, then means that i'm not a good roll and write clever hawk dry player or even gunshot clever for that matter i guess I'm, i suck at it i thought i was way better or maybe i have performance anxiety see now i just missed that i can put the one over here and complete this so i can get oh jeez yeah 282 points i usually score over 300 so yeah let's try and do that game number two let's see if we can score over 300 that's the that's the goal for today to score over 300 if possible so let's see if we can do that and if we can like speed through this round like just play crazy fast and see if we can do something jesus did this i don't know if, if it's this computer or something but this is this is just becoming insane it gives me dice i really don't need wow wow so i'm gonna cross off one two my god this is so terrible and this was a six now it's a one so i get the lowest amount of points I don't know what's happening I, I i think this game knows that i'm recording and it goes against me for some strange reason who knows who knows this is really something mm, no i can't do that i would lock myself i would lock myself so hard it would hurt how i would lock myself come on let's do something with this dice something that's worth Jeez, see he just gives me the lowest numbers he can and that's just not okay not okay so not okay so i'm just going to use this one to put here and here and then here and then cross off this one let's see what we get here these are some terrible numbers i get so i guess we're gonna have to try and save it again with a six on the reroll and hope that reroll is uh, not needed in the future now give me give me a teal one a teal number one yeah how about no Deal number one for you my friend okay so five can easily easily go here and uh, i will save this one for for something good not sure what that good is but something good so cross off this one this one we get a yellow so I'm gonna cross off this five just because I can and if I cross if I use this four let's use this four over here to make this thing over here work and I can cross off anything I want five let's do that and let's do this and then I will cross off this six and hope for the best as usual come on this is now beyond believable he just gives me stuff I really don't I could use a yellow four actually so yeah that was an error on my part I did get a good number I just I was in a rush to get something else 
and I uh, didn't see it coming but this I like if I now can squeeze some plus one from let's say over here I can use this in my way if I get another one and don't use it let's say for example this one get gets to be a one. Oh come on you could be a one if you wanted to yeah this game hates me okay we're going to do it like so and then I'm going to use one and then I'm going to use this one to cross off these two and the next one I, I got some pop-up jumped out so that's why I was silenced for a second so let's do this and it will give me a brown which will like, cross off a number six which is absolutely what I was aiming for and I will cross off the number five I could cross off this one and get another brown but then I would be stuck with five and it's much easier to get four if you want to do I want to do it right now maybe why not right so let's do it like this and hope for the white five to write it over that number and it doesn't give me that number but still I can spend all my bonuses just to do this and then we re-roll and see what goes yeah I completely neglected the blue ones I should have definitely watched for that so wow I really need to boost some of my blue because I really I really neglected it too much man this is not good I don't think if I'm going to be able to pull it off so reroll do I need a reroll yeah let's take a reroll it's always good to have a reroll on your side this one come on let's do it like this even though I don't like it then we get another blue one which gives us the pink one which gives us the fox which means that in our next turn we get another blue one we get a plus one all kinds of different things bingo bango all kinds of points yeah but if I place this for now I can maybe finish this okay I have a plan we'll see if it works what I need now is uh, I need something to put some hmm how can I do this the best way I need four white if possible white four not two not three come on one more reroll come on give me four see here's really going against me but I'm gonna use this five and I'm gonna get this plus one come on give me four I need four not six I need four man oh boy here we go so I'm gonna use it like this and then I'm gonna cross off this one and then I'm gonna use it again as a bonus for the yellow which will in a turn give me yeah this is last turn but if I get a six I could get a fox or I could get this one which will give me a color change number change but oh, come on and it will just give me another six yeah I'm gonna go risk it because now if I get another yellow six or white six I can probably take plus one or something so we'll have to see what comes up so we have this which means we can do it like this and then we can get a plus one over here and that means that we can do this one and this gives us that which means I could go for here I could go here and get plus one or I can get over here and get 
I mean, either way, I just get one more fox and that is that. I can't do anything else. I can't write anymore. So it's just delaying the inevitable. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill this one in and just get the fox. I think that was the best case. So yeah, we can't do anything else. 322 points. Now those are good points. I can go to 350, 360 if I'm pretty lucky. But yeah, that was that. I only got two foxes. My God, I usually get at least three. That's terrible, terrible score. So yeah, that was that. That was all three of the uh, Ganshon something, Doppel so clever, Ganshon clever, and uh, Hoch clever, dry. I really don't know how to pronounce them uh, in German. I just call them Let's Play Ganshon Clever level version three or whatever. So yeah, my little fast review about this game because this is an hour long gameplay already review. So uh, my uh, idea, my initial thoughts were that uh, I kind of didn't like the number three when it came out, but as more as I played it, uh, the more I liked it. And now it's by far the most fun. I really do like in the second one when, when you can uh, retrieve some of the dice that were discarded because you took a big number. I like that mechanic and everything, but uh, some of those, like you need a big number than the small number, they always come in a wrong way and I don't like that. So yeah, I think uh, the third one is the best one. And then I would say the first one and then the second one. So I would say three, one, two, that's if I would need to rank them and i do hope that they, they come out with some more of these because these are just phenomenal i like i like them i have them all somewhere they are somewhere over there and uh, uh, the physical versions but i tend to play these uh, digital versions a lot uh, thank you all for if you uh, managed to last for entire hour hour with me thank you for that uh, also do check out my patreon because stuff like this comes out uh, over there earlier to, for you to see sometimes even two weeks in advance if i'm particularly interested in editing videos that day and uh, yeah check out my patreon uh, thank you for subscribing thank you for spending time with me uh, please do hit a like uh, on this video or dislike if you didn't like it i mean it's all fair game and uh, thank you all uh, for being with me this one hour of your time and that is that. Please do join me next time when we are going to play uh, a fan favorite, fan made version of Ganshon Clever called I don't know what because it's in German. And until then, Pozdrav.